Our first guest is a mother of six, a grandmother of ten, and is part of uh, the most famous family in the world. Please welcome my friend, Chris Jenner. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Chris. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? You know, just hanging out, doing a show. Okay. I know Checking that. On you. I know that sofa, and I know that table and chairs. Um, you and I had a sleepover recently. It's good to see you again. We, we do, we did, but I guess I'm like the guest who never leaves. You've got to stop putting all that comfortable stuff in that guest house. Oh, because well. I just left all my stuff there for next time. I know, you said you were coming with a U-Haul next time. And I think you, you prefer when you stay at our house because that you have a separate house, you have a guest house. When we stay with you, I scare you every time you come out of the bathroom. <laughs> I have been scared by you a million times. You guys wouldn't believe what this woman is up to when she stays with us. Even walking around the neighborhood. If I take my, if I look at my phone and I look up, she's jumping out of a bush. <laughs> you are one crazy girl, well, honestly. I'm just but your house is pretty good. I, the last time I stayed at your house, we left our sunglasses on your dining room table. And so we went in to get them really early in the morning and the alarm system went off. And I think you guys thought we were robbing you. <laughs> it was so crazy. Well, I know y'all are hard up for cash, so you're, <laughs> I know you're desperate, so I, I, don't, I don't know what you're looking at. Um, I have spent a lot of time with you and Corey. Corey dances all the time. I have never seen him do anything like this. Show this video. I, I can't believe I'm seeing this. So Corey is dancing. Which is that? So, and then birthday. Have you seen him do that before? Never. That was the first time. Who knew that guy was that flexible? That blew all of our minds because him and Tristan were in like a dance competition, and he is very competitive. And yes, he really is. Pulled out all the stops. Yeah. That I've, I've never seen him dance like that, ever. Let's talk about this prank that you guys did. I don't know why you didn't do it to me, and I'm, I feel left out, but <laughs> I'm gonna show a clip. But, but you basically, the whole family, FaceTime people, and you just didn't talk, right? You just sat right. still. Right. Okay, that let's... was Kendall and Kylie's idea, so they set it up and said, this would be a really great thing to do on TikTok. And I just basically do what I'm told. So it, it, I had nothing to do with it. They said, Mom, just sit there and shut up and look scary. Right. So apparently we were very intimidating. It's, wait, let's look at this clip. Hey, guys. This is, what is happening? <laughs> What's going on? Bye. <laughs> Is this real or is this a picture? What the f Am I in trouble? Hello? Can you see me? <laughs> Holy <laughs> <laughs> That was a great idea. You are gonna be the first one next time. All right, thank you. Um, so Chloe and Courtney were just on an episode of our digital show, Lady Parts, and Chloe said, uh, basically because you scared the, you know, you scared it to death, she would not have sex when she was younger. And first of all, good job. <laughs> yeah, well, I had to think of something. I was getting very creative. I wasn't sure if you were referring to the time when her and her girlfriend were like 10 years old and they were playing hide and seek and they hid under my bed and stayed there for a really long time. And in the meantime, Bruce at the time and I came and into the bed and went to sleep and, you know, had a little bit of hanky panky going on and the kids were still under the bed. Oh <laughs> my God. No, I didn't so know about- was, That was <laughs> traumatizing. I'm sure she didn't bring that up because she has PTSD over that one. Wait, when did you find out when did y'all realize that they were under the bed after you had hanky-panky? Well, they were so scared that in the middle, they stayed there for hours, and in the middle of the night, when they were sure we were both asleep, they snuck out, and we caught them sneaking out. Oh, my like, God. What are you doing under the bed? They were, they were, it was awful. Was but it... between that and the other thing, Chloe was good. 
But wait, who was more, who was more traumatized with them under the bed while y'all are fooling around? Was it y'all or them? <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Oh. I think I mean, they couldn't have possibly known what we were doing, but I think as they got older, they figured it out. Right. <laughs> I don't even want to ask details. I'm not going to ask anything no, about... I'll tell you later. OK, good. Um, so we recently found out that Chloe and Tristan are trying to have another baby. Um, you must be happy about that, because you love having grandkids. They're, I mean, I think it's so great that they want to do that again and have a sibling for True, because there's nothing better than a big family and brothers and sisters. And that's just my heart. So I'm really happy. I just want them to be happy. And True will be so excited. And will the other kid be named False? <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Um, yeah. So uh, some pictures have come out with Chloe uh, with a, a big ring on her finger. I don't ask you all this stuff. I never ask you. You know, only when you're on the show do I ask all these. I know. It's wild. It's like you give me truth serum or something. I, well, <laughs> I just, I don't ever talk to you about this stuff when we're hanging out. But now I'm like, I'm supposed to ask you these questions. This is my job. What is the I ring know. on her finger? Is, is what's happening with that ring? It's a giant ring and, a, and quite, a, yeah. quite a picture. That is a, that's a good ring. I think she just loves jewelry. Mm-hmm. She's a, she, she loves a good you know, ring. Yeah. Yeah. It's you funny. should ask Chloe that. I will. It's yeah. so funny. I was sitting like that this morning. And uh, <laughs> how's, uh, how's Kim doing? I, now, I have to ask you this, too, because it's my job. I know. How's Kim doing? She's going through a, 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 a tough time. So how is she? Kim's good. She's good. She's really, really busy working on all of her different um, projects that she's doing. And I don't know how she does it with all those grandbabies. She's, she's got a lot of energy, that kid. Yeah. And I mean, really, truly studying to be an attorney. Like, she's not kidding around. She's going to be an attorney. You know, she's so focused and she's so, like, She's just passionate about the whole thing and the, everything she stands for. And I see her studying whenever she has. It's in her schedule every single day when I get all the schedules for the kids. It's her study time is all blocked out. So nothing, nothing else can get in the way. So I really, I'm so proud of her. Yeah, I am too. I mean, it's very cool. I and mean, obviously, you know, her dad was an attorney. And yeah. uh, she's uh, I think that's a big motivation for her, you yeah. know, having her dad do what he did. She always looked up to her dad and that was her idol. And I think that just to have that motivation to try to do something just like her dad did is is really special. Well, I'm 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 so happy that she's found something that she's so passionate about. I think that's yeah. great. Um, all right, Chris, we have to take a break and uh, we'll be back more with Chris after this. It's going to make me cry. Chris Jenner. That was a clip from the uh, new and final season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So you finished taping in January. Um, as, yeah. as I can see, that was really emotional. That, that really hit you. Uh -huh. it, it was really hard to film this last season because we knew it was the last one and we had made that decision before we started filming. And I didn't realize I'd be so emotional. I just, like, it was hard because that crew has been with us since season one, day one, the minute they turn the cameras on, most of those people are still, you know, were still with us at the time. So it was just, it wasn't, I knew we'd all have each other, me and my family, and we, you know, we're together all the time and we have so many things we do together. But I, I really, it was hard for us to realize we'd be, you know, potentially losing them. So you're, you're going to Hulu now and, and you're doing, is it going to be the same kind of show or what can you, can you say anything about it yet? I can't say too much. It's going to be different. And um, we're just really figuring it out right now. We're, we're choosing a production company and just figuring out what the actual show is going to be. But it's been such a wonderful experience working with them and having a whole new chapter to look forward to. The, but it really is so, and, and you know, Portia and I say this all the time, like it is a true testament to what a great mother you are. Um, because your kids love you so much. Like for Mother's Day, each one of them, you know, there were just flowers coming in one after another from every one of your kids. They constantly call you. They always want to be around you. 
I mean, the, the family is like just so close and they all love you so much. And you're such a good mother, such a good grandmother. I know what's happening for Easter, so I can't talk about it in case they see it. But man, what you are doing, <laughs> and you're just, a, you're just an amazing, you know, mom, person, everything. You're just, you're great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I just have so much fun with them. And it's such, it's so amazing to be able to have all of these memories that we make together. And life is a celebration. You know, there's so many things to celebrate and we do that and, and we have the most amazing time together. So I feel blessed. Yeah, I don't think too many families could do that. You know, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> so you and Chrissy Teigen have a brand new product line coming out and, uh, and thanks for sending me some. I, I appreciate it. Tell everybody about Safely. Um, it's a, a plant-based cleaning product and we're coming out with six SKUs and it's Hand, hand wash, hand lotion, hand sanitizer, uh, a universal cleaning product, and then a laundry detergent and a glass cleaner. And um, the products range from $6 to about $14. And you can get it on getsafely.com. Um, it's online to begin with before we go into retail. And it's wonderful. It's plant-based. It smells so good. And... One of the motivations to do this with Chrissy was that we had been cleaning all through COVID like crazy. And it gave me a new appreciation for wanting some cleaning products that didn't have things like sulfates and parabens and dyes and ammonia in them. And we wanted to do something and put an emphasis on the smell so that we, we just figured it doesn't have to smell bad to, to be really effective. So we're excited. It's really pretty. I love the packaging. I, I, it does smell good. I put so, uh, some of the hand uh, moisturizer on and it smells delicious. I love it. And you and Chrissy are hilarious. You did a video together to launch the product. Take a look. We're trying to write a jingle for our new cleaning product called Safely. Yeah. Mm. It's harder than we thought. Family cleaning safely. Your family needs to clean today. Safely cleans in a better way safely safely clean your house with safely 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 clean your house with safely huh i think we'll stick with ours <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> we had so much fun shooting that. He was such a good sport. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, to get John Legend doing your jingle for Safely. Um, Safely products are available exclusively at GetSafely.com. And today, you're all getting $200 worth of Safely products, everybody. <laughs> Woo! We're going to play a game with Chris after this. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!